Hey there, welcome back to Let's Suffer Together. I'm Suffer, and in the past year, YouTube have been considering messing around with the dislike button on the website. This is Matt, content creator turned YouTube shill, and YouTube of today put out a video regarding the update to the YouTube dislike count. Now, when I say they've been experimenting within the, within the past year, basically a euphemism for we're going to do it anyway, we just need to do this for good PR and to fake research to prove that it's actually a good thing and it's good for both their content creators and their consumers, aka viewers. But I've, you know, done my little introduction about how I obviously feel about it. And uh, shall we give Matt a little bit of a time to speak? We're going to go through it. I'll be pausing, you know, quite a bit, giving you my opinion on the matter. Um... Apologies if that's going to be annoying, but it's the way I'm going to do it, so let's get on with it. Hey folks, you How may you have doing, seen Matt? a while back that YouTube announced it was experimenting with making dislike counts private to only the creator of the video. Now, if you're like me, you were surprised by that. Yeah, because you haven't been paid by YouTube yet to agree with it. I mean, I've always thought seeing the number of dislikes on a video helps us know as viewers if it's a good video or not. If It does. So what changed your mind, mate? It's a helpful tutorial or not or if what a creator is is saying in their video is generally agreed with Spot or not. You know? But unfortunately, but... <laughs> research teams at YouTube have found there's this whole other use for disliking a video that oh, really? I had never experienced as a creator, and you may not have either. Much like there's another use for sticking fingers up your ass apart from medical fucking reasons, you know? There's alternative reasons for everything. Should you just knock off, like, checking your prostate for medical reasons just because people pissed their ass? Apparently, groups of viewers are targeting a video's dislike button to drive up the count, turning it into something like a, a, a game with a visible scoreboard. No. Viewers didn't do that. YouTube and every other social media site in existence did that. They have given you scoreboards. They have gamified social media. It's well recognized through the entirety of research that's been done on social media that the entire point of gamification of these websites is to keep you addicted and to keep you onto it. So don't say we fucking done it as viewers. You fucking did it. And it's usually just because they don't like the creator or what they stand for. Yeah, and that's the point of disliking someone, right? Or disliking something. I'm, I'm failing to see the fucking logic at the moment. You're going to have to do better than that, Matt. That's a big problem when half of YouTube's mission is to give everyone a voice. What's the other half? You know, to build a Death Star? To refine your site into a corporate shill machine that only recommends already established celebrities? For that sweet, sweet ad revenue? And suppress startup content creators so and never get to be seen? But only what, what you want to push? Is that it, Matt? So, earlier in 2021, YouTube experimented with making the public dislike count private to see if it would help reduce these coordinated dislike attacks across the platform. And after analysis, they did see a reduction. Can we see that analysis, please? So, the update from YouTube is that the dislike button is staying, but the dislike counts will now be private. You can still dislike videos, and that action will be used to tune your own recommendations, but you won't be able to see the dislike count. So, when a corporation puts out a video that's very untrustworthy, lacking authenticity, or many of the other reasons a lot of people have a high dislike ratio, corporations are now going to be able to get away with that, politicians are now going to be able to get away with that, while it's not really going to affect small content creators. No one gives a shit, you know? <laughs> it's all the reason behind the dislike button, to hold people to account. While it can be used for, aka, bullying and, you know, negative means, as my crude analogy before about the prostate exam and fisting, um, yeah, do you really want to get rid of that? Just because some people are trolls? You know? If we give in, you're basically giving in to the trolls. And one thing you don't really do on the internet is give in, because, well, they've won. Only the creator can find it on the back end if they want. Now, a few common questions we saw from the initial experiment. First, without a public dislike count, how can viewers tell if a video is worth watching? It's not about if it's worth watching. We will watch the most absolute shit. Even things that aren't authentic, even things that aren't trustworthy, because even distrustworthy, distrustworthy content can provide good insight and information 
about how untrustworthy or unauthentic someone is. It's not about the worth of the video. It's about the other things we've been talking about, the authenticity, the integrity, everything else about it, apart from the quality, really. Although it can also, you know, be used to, you know, take a shot at the content or the quality of the video. However, it's used for so many other things. Again, I kind of have this question too, but it turns out... Yeah, and you only changed your mind when you probably got paid to shill this fucking video, mate. That, ...that while viewers might use the dislike count to give them a sense of a video's worth, when the teams looked at the data across millions of viewers and videos in the experiment, they didn't see a noticeable difference in viewership. So if they didn't see a noticeable difference in viewership, you're basically saying the amount of dislike to like ratio doesn't affect viewership. So if it doesn't affect the content creator and you're doing this for the content creator's, you know, livelihood or whatever, if it doesn't affect them, yeah, they might have a little bit of hurt feelings. But this is the internet, you know? If you're on the internet and that kind of stuff affects you, uh, you're going to need to develop a bit of thicker skin, mate, especially if you're a content creator. You already read the comments, you know? In fact, you know, why not ban comments at the same time if you're doing this? If it's all about hurt feelings, you know, and stuff like that and bullying or whatever, you're going to have to do a much better job if you don't want to be seen as virtue signaling, protecting corporations, politicians, or any other content creators that are in a position of power to manipulate and fuck people over. Regardless of whether they could see the dislike count or not. In other words, it didn't really matter if a video had a lot of dislikes or not, they still watched. And you just destroyed your own point. Am I the only one kind of seeing that? I'm sure I'm not. I'm sure there's many, many other content creators making a video right now. Kind of pissed off at this because while I've got videos that have been quite disliked, again, it's given me feedback. And especially when it's public, other people can see that. And while it might not be about, say, authenticity or trust, it's definitely possibly about the quality. And, you know, as a smaller content creator, that's valuable. Especially when it's public because, you know, your work is out there publicly. Does that not give the right as the public to express their feelings towards it? As well as in the comment section, which did people do. And that's just the freedom of the internet. Are we going to get to a place where the corporations that like Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, every other major social media site is just going to start taking away kind of personality and I wouldn't say the rights, but the way people can express themselves in a positive and negative way. Next common question. If creators can still see the dislike count on the back end, how's that any different? They can see it if they look for it inside Studio Analytics under the Engagement tab. But overall, it's much less likely to cause stress and embarrassment if the count isn't visible to the public. It's not about stress and embarrassment. It's about as we've said before, holding people to account publicly, which is needed on a platform of media. Media can be used, as we've seen all the way back to the 19, like 20s and 30s and 40s. Very important times in history, by the way, for media and propaganda and stuff like that. You know, Joseph, Joseph fucking Goebbels knew the power of propaganda, mate, and the power of media and the power of motion picture and other forms of propaganda, you know? Are we, we as a community of viewers, can protect ourselves via certain methods of showing something is trustworthy or authentic via the comments or the dislike button ratio. So you're essentially taking away a way to protect ourselves from powerful entities. Thanks. And one more common question. Is this because YouTube Rewind got lots of dislikes? Shark pin take a breath there, my friend, Scholar's Cradle. Bit of a wacky smile before that, but... Uh, yeah. That's part of it, isn't it? No. Although mm, yeah, there sure. are some teams internally who have learned the hard way what it feels like to get <laughs> lots of dislikes. Some teams internally have felt what it's like to get a lot of dislikes. Are you saying that, uh, you know... Your teams who are a part of YouTube, the research may have been done by a separate team, but might have some internal bias in all this. And um, from their own experiences and given their viewpoints towards that kind of thing, um, 
again, devoid of the actual good arguments for a dislike button. No, Probably. this again is about protecting all creators and making sure they have a chance to succeed and feel safe in doing so. All right, so that's the update. Yeah. I hope it doesn't cause too much frustration. Well, if you actually listen to the arguments we present and a lot of the content creators will present, and you actually listen to the probable prevailing opinion on this, apart from just either reading bits of black and white data that don't give the full story, you know? Um, understand that being in a safe environment when it comes to being offended, you know, you don't have a right not to be offended, you know? When it comes to the public safety and giving people information in the simplistic ways that the dislike button can, and certain, like, comment section comments can, you know? It can stop people getting scammed, it can inform people politically, it can stop corporations from, you know, being corporations in the, <laughs> in the ways they often do, in shilling and generally just uh, trying to manipulate everything, then we won't have a problem. Just, you know, possibly listen for once and understand that it's a bit bigger than what you're suggesting. Again, I think the whole providing a safe environment is kind of important, isn't it, I suppose? But when it concerns the whole public at large versus individuals, you know? I think it's better to look at the bigger picture instead of just, oh, I'm offended, mate, you know? <laughs> I'm offended at something I put out didn't get received well, which, to be fair, you know, looking at a lot of the content on YouTube probably deserves a bit of a bad ratio sometimes, you know? I mean, sometimes it's the best content on the entire web, but still, the ratio will show that, hopefully. And I think the trolling aspect of it, people using it as a kind of game to inflate the dislike ratio for no reason, that doesn't really exist. There's always a reason, you know? Whether, if it's a coordinated troll, someone's done something. Maybe it could be unjust, you know? Maybe someone pissed someone off, like, a year ago, and they've held a grudge, and they're doing a coordinated attack. Fair enough. However, you know, I think, in large part, and it's overblown, YouTube, listen. However, my friends, thank you for listening. If you've got any opinions on this yourself, get down in the comments section. Hey, I've clicked that like, dislike button, I don't mind, you know? Technically, as well, the dislike button contributes to your algorithm. It is a actual interaction on your video, which is a good thing. If someone clicks the dislike button, they are interacting with your channel, which is a good thing for your channel. So, whenever someone dislikes my button, I give a little smile and I move on. You know? Again, your opinion is down in the comment section. I'd love to hear and have a dialogue about this, because I don't, you know, I have my opinions, I'm pretty strong on my own opinions, but I don't necessarily think I'm right. But, uh, hey. I hope you've learned something. I hope you can think on this yourself and come to form your own opinions. Well, let me know them down in the comment section. However, my friends, a big thank you to Shades, Child, Meta, Godimig, Ian, Shelton, Corruptor, Mac, Excel, Blame, Botic, Asilisab, and King, Snatcho, Cash, He by Co, Coalition of Seekers, Twitch from the Cold Chai for clicking the join button down below and contributing to the channel financially, which you can also do yourself by the giant boy, giant, giant, nice little join button down below. We've also got a merch line out at golivemerch.com forward slash Let's Suffer Together. And uh, yeah, we stream live at twitch.tv forward slash Let's Suffer Together. Thank you for enjoying the show, my friends. I will catch up with you very soon. Have a good night, Renegades.